Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Good morning, children. Assholeconsulting.com. Remember, especially if you have a Gmail account, check your spam folder. If you have sent me a request, because chances are my response ended up in there. Dear asshole, I'm interested in your opinion on three things. One, small towns versus big city suburbs. Dallas, Fort Worth versus Phoenix, Scottsdale. And three, it seems leftists and SJWs take over nice places like California, Austin, Denver. Do you think... What do you think we should do to prevent these takeovers and even take back a state like California? <laughs> Dude, throw it in. I wrote, <clears throat> I wrote the book Enjoy the Decline for a reason. Um, uh, hang on, you want me to omit this from the video? I'm just wondering if it's something germane. You live there, you return there, so you're familiar with there. Want to buy it, a home in the United States, not ready to buy property. Uh, okay, all right. So you're you're a younger man, um, and you're scrapping up. Uh, you're doing your reconnaissance, is what you're doing. Okay. Uh, so the first one, small towns versus big city suburbs. Um, it depends. It's no longer the suburbs. Uh, if every major metro has now essentially two sets of suburbs, the original suburbs or the inner burbs and the exurbs, uh, which are the new burbs that are forming. Uh, so, for example, our original burb of Chicago would be Evanston, but Schaumburg, even beyond Schaumburg, you say even Hoffman Estates is an exurb. Um, and so, as the population grows, not to mention uh, homes get bigger, people are moving way the hell out, <clears throat> doing crazy commutes, uh, although some do work out in the burbs, and an increased amount of people work uh, remotely. So there's kind of a difference. Um, if I had to choose, I'm kind of, I'm personally indifferent. A younger man like you might want to be in the suburbs, so you still have access to the city and, and all that, but I'm all cityed out. I mean, I'm going to be going to a small town. Now, that being said, I do love Las Vegas. Um, I'm not against the suburbs, um, but I mean, just as long as you know what you're dealing with small towns, unless it's near a city or you're willing to drive to a major city, <clears throat> there's not going to be much there. So if you're in a small town, then you better have a lot of outdoor activities to do. Uh, this is why it'd be foolish to live in a, in a small town in Florida. I mean, what are you going to do, shoot alligators? Unless you really like shooting alligators, but um, you know, I lived in small towns in Wyoming, and it was great because there were mountains there. I got to go mountain and motorcycle hiking, or motorcycle riding and hiking and all that good jazz. Uh, but it really depends on the town. Uh, but in general, as a policy, as long as you're okay with a small town and you want to be quiet and be left alone, small town is fine. Uh, but big city suburbs, I would even say uh, the exurbs, they're perfectly fine too. I would stay away from the original like inner ring of suburbs because they're essentially... Uh, Democrat strongholds, they're going to jack up your property taxes. So I wouldn't even, again, if you want to take a look, Atham looked this up, the map, the Twin Cities is basically encircled by uh, two bypass, one north, one south, 694, 494. And within that, more or less, you can assume that uh, people are just as Democrat as people in Minneapolis and St. Paul proper. Uh, and then you get out of the 494, 694 circuit, and then you're in the uh, suburbs. And then beyond that, you got exurbs starting to form which are small little towns that are slowly being engulfed by the ever-encroaching suburbs. Um, yeah, I, I, I would more, you know, figure out your own personal taste and preferences, but, you know, small town or suburb, either or, just make sure it's going to be, uh, be it's going to remain Republican for quite some time. Dallas-Fort Worth versus Phoenix-Scottsdale. Um, I prefer Phoenix and Scottsdale over Dallas-Fort Worth because I prefer Arizona over Texas. Uh, I know Texas doesn't have any state income taxes, so that's an advantage. But Dallas-Fort Worth is just, you're just on the middle, you're on a plane. You, there's nothing out there. Big cities, Dallas is a fun town, but there's nothing. And if you're okay with that, that's fine. Me and a little bit more in Phoenix and Scottsdale has it. Now, it's going to be a hell of a lot hotter in Phoenix and Scottsdale. Um, but if you could suffer that heat, 
there's so much more to do in uh, the Phoenix area. A lot of mountain climbing. Um, the Superstition Mountains are out there. You have uh, Piestra, it used to be called Squaw Peak, now it's Piestra Peak, Camelback Mountain, uh, South Mountain, Thompson Peak. Those are all in the city or near the city. You can do hiking there. There's more outdoor activity to do in Phoenix uh, and Scottsdale than there is uh, Dallas Fort Worth. Seems leftists at SJWs take over nice places like California, Austin, Denver, etc. What do you think we should do to prevent these takeovers? And if you take back a state like California, there's, there's nothing you can do. Um, and the reason why is you'd have to overcome basically was a trillion dollars a year education budget, of which a significant amount of that is brainwashing kids and the leftist thought. Uh, and most younger people, I mean, under 40, my, you know, they're still Democrats. They're, they, that's just what the, the way the world is going. California has a huge immigrant, both legal and illegal. They're going to vote Democrat. Um, the natives, Native Americans, not Indian Americans, but any, well, you could be a Native American, Indian American, who was there originally. But those people also vote left. I mean, don't just think it's, oh, it's, it's uh, the minorities or the immigrant. No, no. <laughs> Plenty of white people. Uh, they're even more ardent feminists and leftists. You're, you're like, how do we, how do we get rid of Christianity? You know, how do we get rid of a religious? That's what it is. That's what socialism is. You're not going to get rid of it until it runs its course. And hey, why is it there food in the shelves? You know, until we have a Venezuela, um, the parasites outrank and outprodu or outconsume the producers, which we're not at yet. Uh, there's really no way. I mean, you could pass ordinances. I mean, you could prevent, you can, like, if you're uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, if you're a conservative town or conservative state, uh, one way to do it is to uh, have, like, no welfare programs, no government assistance so that people just move on to the next town. I always thought busing and shipping um, uh, your, your homeless or the people like, I hate this, and they're on welfare. You just, here's a bus pass to Minneapolis. Here's a bus pass to California. Get out of here. Um... But it's sure enough, some kid's going to come from a truly privileged, uh, privileged background, dad, mom, conservative, libertarian types, pro-America. They spoil their children rotten. They go to college and they go, oh, man, we should just have free crap. They've never worked. And that's how, you know, what would really, what would really be required is American fathers start manning up. And that is not going to happen. That's just not going to happen. Um... And you can't take back a state like California. You'd have to invade it militarily, and turn it back into a territory, um, call for martial law, kick all the, the leftists and socialists out, and then you'd have like maybe 10 people left in the entire state, and you have to repopulate it. It's just not going to happen. And then you don't want me to talk about the rest of that stuff. So there you go. So, all right. I'm sorry. I wish there was a way. You, you just trust me. Read my book. Enjoy the decline. I didn't write it for shits and giggles. So, well, Oh, and I uh, remember... June is Worthless Degree Awareness Month. Get the book Worthless for a high school graduate that you care about today. We'll see you guys then. Toodles.